Aye, here you go. What the mob doing here? Aye? What's going on here? What's going on here? Yanni, it's story time, Yanni. What? Right now, story time. For you. Right. All this mob here? Yeah. When? Right now. All right, all right, I got a story for you. I got a little story for you. Here's a little story. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Shepard from Mariba, far north Queensland, Murray lad, Bama lad, Mulridgee area up that way. Also, I'm Barbaram, which is further up in the Atherton Tablelands as well. Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following show contains two, three, four real deadly blackfellas. They make a big noise for us. Yeah! I kind of fell into comedy, well comedy found me I guess, but it's always kind of been present in every interaction I've had with family members, friends, and that element of comedy is kind of present in, in, in most yarns, you know, the, fans, you know the, the, the clown of the family, not necessarily myself, but a lot of other family members would take on that responsibility of making you laugh, giving that hey time. <laughs> that one for me too, eh? Yeah. Uh, oh, good. thank goodness, that's so much better. Ladies and gentlemen, Circusars would like to acknowledge ancestors both past and present and the Gapuak people, traditional landowners of the land we come here this evening. kind of introducing that style of humour I guess I kind of really found a comedy to be a great vehicle to be able to tell a good story but also look at some serious topics but kind of allows you allows the audience to hear it. Palawamba, eh, Benangari. It's always an inane um, part of who I am in terms of how I deal with a lot of things is, is, is to find, be able to find the funny with it, to be able to move forward and to happily allow other people to feel comfortable enough to create a conversation about things that they may be worried about. I came down here last January for the um, masterclass workshops. I know they're now called Black Flip. Josh Bond had a hand, big hand in kind of developing, trying to get Indigenous crew to come in and play. Doing the trapeze and tumbling, clowning to a lot of the kind of circus skills, I guess. That embodies all of that, what makes me up, but also what makes, our, what makes my culture up. It's very strong in movement, dance, song storytelling through all of those genres. But Circus Oz, their ambition to respect and pay homage to our First Peoples, you know, something that they quite strongly believe in, something that affected me in terms of being offered a job here and coming in and kind of going actually I respect and admire the fact that coming on top of the tent is the Aboriginal flag and the Torres Strait Islander flag. Wow, I want to be a part of this. Yeah, so my name's Josh. I'm from Elko Island, but now I live in Melbourne. Yo. Uh, about 20 years ago, I don't know a circus was going to do it and go to Marty, Menangrida, Elko Island, Gondoling, I don't know, Yutungoyen. 
I've been on my land and what to do a long girl. Fifteen years, I ran touring circus school. Circus school, yeah. I will have a thinking one day, I ran to the circus, the room in my bed. One a little, got on and circus songs. Yo. Arnhem Land were taking a very pared back. I'm thinking grounded show, much more open air, um, where particularly in, in those communities where they can kind of come and watch it, but then also participate in it, come and learn some new skills with it, making it a bit more open and not as kind of theatrical. forward to to that kind of aspect of you know play shame now nah, but get out and do something real deadly and then go back and be shame again and you know I, I kind of love those moments where you're kind of going oh and that encouragement but actually this is where I've come from this is exactly where I've come from back flipping off bridges into creeks and swinging off rope you know it takes you back to aspiring to be more than I thought I could ever be you know I think it's valuable to be able to take that back into into those communities. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How you might doing tonight? Bye, I ain't got a. That's terrible. Try again. How you might doing tonight? Ah, that's better. We're very happy to be here tonight. We've come a long way, starting from Darwin to Gumbalanya, Gumbalanya, Manangrida, Manangrida, Ramangini, Ramangini, Gapuyak, Gapuyak, Yirikala, and here we are. And from here we go on to Goma. A lot of people have been asking us. Why are you doing this Circus Osgo's Bush Tour? And essentially, it's about bringing works of scale and equal access to the arts. And for us, a good time for all doesn't just mean a good time for all the people in the city. It's a good time for all people everywhere. Whether you live in the big smoke or just plain old country folk, make yourself at home now. Grab a drink, come and sit on down and belong to the land of not belonging. Living all mixed up or mixed down, it's time to find some common ground. Hold up tight with both hands. But we connect because we're all human and we're longing for some sense of some belonging. Where 
whether you live in the big smoke or just plain old country folk, make yourself at home now. Grab a drink, come and sit on down, and belong to the land of not belonging. It won't be too long before we belong in this land of not belonging. This too has been amazing, incredible, life-changing to a certain extent. Reminds me of where I've come from and the opportunity I've been given to see and feel the pure joy that was given. It makes you want to give back 100% more and remind you, reminds me of why I got into this industry. my brother. I think it's been successful myself as well in terms of a bit more understanding of what's required from me. The show is called Cranked Up that we're doing, so I'm cranking my, myself up to kind of, you know, uh, be a lot more confident and, and feeling like I'm able to be a chameleon and play whatever part you need me to play at the time. Uh, true honestly, this kid, eh? True honestly, make me butter gallery. Oh, come on, Arrow, keep up. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait the bump. Oh, hello? Oh, what? Nah, tree. Yeah, look at she got the biggest on that now, self. Nah, die. <laughs> I think we've kind of made a, some difference in each community we've been in. But it was a little bit sad leaving each community because it kind of, you felt that you made a difference in sort of starting to get to know, not sorry, a lot about the community, but just a small insight into that and the laughter, the, the mucking around, hey, you know, you mob, what's your name, can I adopt you, them young kids, have you been adopted? It's almost like coming home thing to a certain extent, kind of going, oh, hungry for more. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just been a part of a circus I show. Starring on sound, Joe. On lights, Tristan. Our musical director, Carl. On drums, Beck. On piano. And my 